This is a very tough day for me to, to talk to the both of you. Very tough. No, it's really hard. It's hard. <laughs> Life is hard. <laughs> Um, so, uh, uh, obviously I want to start with congratulations on the movie. Um, I do, uh, since I have a few extra minutes or a few minutes, um, Mr. Spielberg, I, I wanted to ask you an individual question. Obviously, like everyone else, I'm a massive fan of your work. Um, and I'm curious which of your films in the editing room ended up going through like the most changes that you weren't expecting before the finished release. Oh, well, there's been a number of films that went through the most changes. I think, Probably Terminal mm. uh, with Tom Hanks and Stanley Tucci I, and, and Catherine Zeta-Jones. That film probably went through the most changes. Uh, uh, I don't think I, I can. It's a good question you ask. I've never been asked that question it's before. It's a great question. And, and the answer <laughs> popped in mind because it's probably the only film I've made that, that had to go through so many iterations trying to find the basic, the velocity of the story, the velocity of the narrative. Uh, can never quite find how to pace this picture and what to lose and what to add and what to cut down. So I probably worked on that film and editing more than any other film I've directed. Wow. But it's a great question. Uh, thank you. I, 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 thank you. Um, uh, Rachel, <laughs> yeah, my, I, you know, where do you go from that? I'm um, frazzled too. I'm frazzled on your behalf. That's a great compliment to get. <laughs> I, I, I definitely will. Rachel, I cannot imagine what it's like for you playing this role on the stage in New Jersey to working with that man on your left. And I'm very curious, um, have you thought about playing the lottery? <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny you should say that because I constantly refer to this as me winning the lottery. Yeah, you do. I'm like, it's just, it's absolutely, I mean, with the, obviously with, with the involvement of Steven, but with the whole creative team that we got to work with, Janine Tesori is one of my heroes. I got to meet Steven Sondheim. Tony Kushner wrote the screenplay. Justin Peck was choreographing there. Paul Taswell costumes, Adam Stockhausen sets. I mean, it had the best of the best, uh, even down to our crew with Mitch Lillian. And I, yeah. I just, we got so, I got so lucky. This is your life. Well, she, got <laughs> chance, she got a chance to meet my family because most of these individuals that worked on West Side Story have done multiple films with me. So she got yeah. to step into our family and yeah. she and we, she was greeted and became part of it and mm. will always be part of it. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> Rachel, I do have a follow-up. Um, I read yeah. that McKenna Reynolds was the one who, gave you the heads up that they were casting and that yeah. she said, thank me when you're famous. So yes. I really want to know, what do you Have get I a friend? What, what do you get a, as a present to a friend like that who literally has changed your life in a complete, we're talking radically. I mean, it's truly, it's like whatever she wants. I always tell her, I'm, and she hasn't taken me up on any offer yet. McKenna's my friend who sent me the thing. Yes. Yeah, it was crazy. And so, um, you know, I, she gets she gets an advance notice of when things are going to drop. I'm just kind of like, hey, check Twitter at this time. You know what I mean? The end credits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she should be in the acknowledgments. It's really, it's really, uh, she's, she's fantastic. But I do tell her, I'm like, is there someone you want to meet? Is there, is there a fashion brand you really like that I can like weasel my way into? Um, but honestly, she's, she's just so wonderful. And, and it, it's not lost on me how fantastic of a friend she is to think that about me. And then when it came to fruition, she just, she weeps openly every time something about West Side Story comes out. How do you know all these details? <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> um, uh, I uh, I'd like to think I'm decent at my job. Um, I've been doing this a little Pretty while. Good. Pretty, you know, Larry David well, says, "Pretty good." Pretty good. <laughs> um, this was not what I was going to say, but Mr. Spielberg, if you ever have the time for a longer conversation, I have what we call questions, and I promise I won't <laughs> waste your time. You know um, something? I am so compelled just for this little interview right here. That would be good for me to talk to you. Um, trust me when I say I, I, I will bring my A game um, I, for both of you. Um, I don't think enough people realize what it really takes to make a movie. They all see the end product. They see how amazing it turns out, but they don't really know the time and energy that goes on behind the scenes and the pre-production, the post-production. Can you sort of maybe t what, what do you wish more people knew about movie making that maybe they just don't know? Uh, I, I hope they never learn anything about movie making. <laughs> uh, I hope they never know. I hope they never see who's behind the curtain. Mm. You know, I, I think if they don't want to be a filmmaker, so if they don't want to get into the business and they just have, they just want to be entertained or want to be transported somewhere else, it's best not to know too much because you don't want to knock down that proverbial fourth wall. Mm. You want to keep yourself safe and secure from any knowledge other than what the 
story is is throwing throwing back at you. But of course, there's a whole other subset of individuals who want to tell their stories. Yeah. And they're telling them right now on their iPhones. And they're telling them right now on social media and, and on Twitter. And, I mean, on Instagram and on TikTok. And and uh, and I I have my eye out for them all the time because that is those are the individuals that should know what goes into preparing a script. And the only only piece of advice I don't have not a lot of time, but the only piece of advice I love to give is don't worry so much about technique and don't worry so much about where to put the camera or how to light. Worry about one thing or think about one thing. Preoccupy yourself with how do you tell a story that's really interesting that you can get somebody not to walk out of the room right in the, in the middle of your second act of your telling the story. How do you just tell a story that, they, that, that people lean into what you're saying and they don't lean back, they don't like start looking around the room. Find a way first, a, a compelling way to express your art through your storytelling. Mm. Once you've got that, there's a lot of people in this world that will go, get around you and, and show you the ropes. But learning how to be a storyteller is the most important advice I can give you. Mm -hmm. That's a fantastic answer. I, um, okay, well, I'm going to, I don't know, Rachel, if you want to say anything about movie making or you want to leave it there. Well, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know too much about movie making. I haven't made many, but I will say just the tireless effort of everybody involved is something I wish people just took into account a little bit more is that, you know, for every 30 seconds you see on camera, there's about six days of work that goes into it. Mm -hmm. Dance at the gym was six Seven long days. days. Yeah. Cool was a long time. The long rumble time. was a long time. Even a boy like that was two whole days. A one hand, one heart ended up taking two full days because yeah. we went and, back and, and, and live singing. It was all. It was all. Yeah. It was all. It was all recorded. All live. live singing. So in yeah. in the context in regard to our film, you know, there a lot of work goes into not only movies but this particular movie musical. It's a Herculean task. It was a Titanic type movie. So we we really there's a lot of effort that goes into every little bit that you see. Thank you so much for your time. Have a fantastic day. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Thank Steve. You. Thank you.